What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and Mortal Kombat 1 Season 6 officially begins next week. Well, as I'm recording this video, but Ed Boon already showed us a movie skin that I assume will be added during the next season. If this is the theme we're running with, what other movie skins should be added during this season? We already took a look at Mortal Kombat 1. We already took a look at Mortal Kombat 2. Today, we'll be taking a look at the third Mortal Kombat movie to see if they have any skins that we would actually want to see in this game. And I've already said it before, this movie did not have my favorite looks for these characters, but Maybe there are some. Let's take a look. And we're going to start off with everybody's favorite character from this movie, and that is the boy Cole Young. I'm going to tell y'all what I want to happen to Cole Young. He's not in this game, of course. We already know that, but we just got to talk about him. I'm hoping he's represented just like Johnny Cage was. He had a big spot in Mortal Kombat 1. Well, Mortal Kombat 2021. I'm hoping he comes back in the next movie and gets that same big spot Johnny Cage got in Mortal Kombat Annihilation. And it is glorious. Now the next character is one people really hated when she was revealed. Whoo, y'all probably already know who I'm talking about. I'm sure the comment section on YouTube don't look pretty if you look at the reveal, but that character is Melina. Very pretty woman, but Melina's not black. <laughs> I get it. I get the hate. But y'all got to understand when y'all come into these movies, these things really don't stick to the source material at all. When you see books that turn into the movies, don't stick to the source material. You look at anime that turns to actual real life movies, don't stick to the source material. And it's the same with video games. Y'all are never going to like a Mortal Kombat movie if you go into the movie expecting to see exactly what you see in the game. But making Melina Black was a pretty brave, interesting decision. I personally didn't hate it because when I go in and watch these movies, I watch them as standalone movies themselves. And everything doesn't have to be the same as the game because it's just not going to work that way. But you know what? It's not really a terrible design for Melina if you just take it at face value for what it is. And I would actually like to see this one in Mortal Kombat 1. I'm just going to say it. She doesn't look bad at all. I'm giving her the check mark because I think it worked. What they were trying to do with her character, I think, worked. Even though it looks like they're kind of going the opposite way. Because Katana is not a black woman in the next Mortal Kombat movie. So they can't be twins. So either y'all are going to be mad because they're not sisters if she comes back. Or y'all are going to be mad because they're not twins. Everybody's going to be mad about something, so I'm just interested to see what way they go. But Melina died in that movie, so they might just cancel Christmas on her altogether. The next character we have is Sub-Zero. I really don't like Sub-Zero's look in this Mortal Kombat movie. He's not even really blue. He looks really cool right here, but he looks more like Noob Saibot. I think he, he, he would have been better off having this look in the second movie, but I think he needed to look more bluish like Sub-Zero in this one, and his outfit just looks black. Not really getting Sub-Zero vibes from this, so no. No. I don't think we need this one in Mortal Kombat 1, so love you to death, Sub-Zero, but I'm going to have to go all X edition on you. The next character we see here is... Shang Tsung. Now, when I first saw Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 1, I was like, wait a minute. This is Shang Tsung from the Mortal Kombat movie. I think our characters are going to look exactly like they look in that movie. I remember there was an announcement where they said WB wanted everything to be streamlined with DC, where the games lined up with the movies, lined up with the animated stuff. And that kind of got me scared for Injustice, for one. But when I saw the Mortal Kombat characters looking like these movie characters, it kind of made me think the same thing here. And they may be tied in some way because, again, this kind of looks like our Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat 1. Of course, our Shang Tsung is a bit younger, but they really do resemble each other a lot now i i didn't like shang soon in mortal kombat 1 before we actually played the game but when we saw that first cinematic clip and we actually saw who he was and where he was coming from that made me really like the character and it actually made me really like his movie design as well so i don't use shang soon at all but i wouldn't mind seeing this look in the game and even though i don't use him i would still buy it because i have a problem but let's go ahead and move on to the next one and i think this is actually the coolest character in the Mortal Kombat movie. And that man is Kung Lao. I'm a big fan of Kung Lao, but I am not a big fan of Kung Lao in Mortal Kombat 1. 
I feel like they made him take a nasty backseat to Raiden, especially when we came off of Mortal Kombat 11 with all of the great Kung Lao teaser stuff. I just don't think they took his character in the right way. He could have been an important main character where right now he's just really goofy. But in the Mortal Kombat movie, he was represented very well. I think he looked great, and I would like to see this in the game, even though I'm not going to be using Kung Lao anytime soon until maybe after Mortal Kombat Aftermath, and that's only if they clean up the character because he just seems like a joke to me right now. But great character in the movie. Hate that they killed him. Apparently, he's going to be in the next one, so... I don't know. How do we get him back? Is Quan Chi going to be reviving these guys from the dead? What the hell's going on? The next character we have here. Oh, boy. I forgot to give Kung Lao the check. But we definitely can't forget to give Raiden this X. Can Raiden get any less cool than he was in this Mortal Kombat movie? We look at Raiden in the first Mortal Kombat movie. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant portrayal of the character. The second one was bad. They cut his hair, made him into a man, and it was just terrible. This one might be even worse than that because he just looks like a dude. He looked like a dude with some white contacts on and a Raiden hat on. Not a fan of what they did with Raiden. In this. And what is this? Are these two dragons getting down? Like, what are we, what are we doing here, y'all? What's going on? How do you make Shang Tsung such a cool character in the movie and you just ruin Raiden? He literally just looks like a dude, y'all. Kind of like he looks in Mortal Kombat 1, actually. Hmm. Of course, a lot older here, but slim. You know, not a big menacing man like the old Raiden was. Hey, maybe this is what they're going with now. Maybe this was a hint of things to come. Because I think Raiden is definitely going to end up back in that Thunder God spot, y'all. We'll see how it happens. But now we got Reptile. And this is another one who looks exactly like the reptile we got in the movie. Of course, not the man form, but we didn't see him in the, as a man in this thing. What do y'all think about this? Because when I saw this movie, I was like, Ugh. I'm not a fan of Lizard Reptile myself. I like him better when he is a man. I don't mind what they did in Mortal Kombat 1 making him a hybrid, but I also like him evil better. So we'll see where that goes. But I mean, as far as this, y'all, this was pretty bad. <laughs> not good Kano not good here either I didn't really like the Kano design the character was great don't get me wrong the character the writing for the character everything was great but as far as his look I thought he looked so good like his design was so good in Mortal Kombat 11 that was like his peak and then we saw him in this movie and it brought him back down he even looked better in the first movie so not a fan of Kano or this reptile but it's the reptile we got I still don't like the, the way it looks in Mortal Kombat 1 but it is what it is don't need to give him a check or an X because we actually got it. The next one we have here is Scorpion. It is Scorpion. Now, I feel like people might like this one, but I don't know. It looks a bit too realistic for me and not very Mortal Kombat-esque. It looks more like the Templars from Assassin's Creed or something. So this is not one I'm a fan of. I don't know. Maybe this film had a low budget because that's what it is. The costumes really look kind of low budget. Look at that. Not a fan. I don't need to see this in Mortal Kombat 1. We got the Scorpion costume from the original Mortal Kombat 1. So I say let's keep that one and we can cancel Christmas on this. Now, last but most certainly not least. We got Liu Kang. And I'm going to drop a bomb on y'all right now. This is the best portrayal of Liu Kang in any of the Mortal Kombat movies. Now, of course, we had one guy who played Liu Kang in Mortal, Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat Annihilation, and he was good. He was great, but I don't know. This guy really just fit the whole Liu Kang vibe to me, and he was just as good. I won't say he was better, but he was just as good as the Liu Kang in the other movies. When you look at him, you see Liu Kang, especially if you're thinking about Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat 11. I think this guy just really fit. He really fit the role. They nailed it. When it comes to getting things right, they did Liu Kang and Kung Lao justice. Sonya and Jax were good too, so I'll say they did good with those characters as well. But which movie skins would y'all like to see added to this game? And are y'all excited for the next Mortal Kombat movie as well? Should we start covering that? Let me know in the comment section. But don't forget to drop a like on this video and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Bomb Squad, let's get to that.
Thank you.